guys, welcome back to Baronsis Math Club. Today's topic is division operation on integers. So today we'll be learning how to divide two integers together. And now if you've seen our previous video, we talked about multiplication operation integers. And this is pretty much the same concept, the same rules, except instead of multiplying, we'll be dividing, okay? So let's go ahead and write a problem down. So let's say that we have positive 64 divided by positive 8, okay? So now if you go ahead and look at rule number one, it says, if the signs of the integers are the same, then the quotient will be a positive number. Now if you can see the signs of our integers are the same because we have two positive numbers, okay? So that says, then the quotient will be a positive number. Now, before we do anything else, we have to first divide and then we're gonna put our positive sign in the answer, right? So now one way to divide this is we can write this in fraction form. So we can write positive 64 over positive 8, and now all we have to do is simply divide. So now we know that 8 goes into 64 8 times, right? So that means our answer is going to be 8, but then it says, then the quotient will be a positive number. Now we know that the sign for a positive number is an addition sign, so our answer will be positive 8. So that means positive 64 divided by positive 8 equals positive 8, okay? So now let's go ahead and do another example. So now let's say we have negative 17 divided by negative 3, okay? So now let's go ahead and re read rule number 1 again. And now it says if the signs of the integers are the same, and yes, we do have the same signs, we have two negative numbers, then the quotient will be a positive number. So we're still going to have a positive answer, but this time we're dividing two negative numbers, so we still have to do division, right? So let's go ahead and write this in fraction form. So we have negative 17 divided by negative 3. So now if we divide, if we go ahead and write this over here, we know that 3 goes into 17 5 times because 3 times 5 is 15 and we are left with a remainder of 2. Now we know that when we have a remainder, we usually will rewrite this in a mixed number form. So we know that our quotient will become our whole number, our remainder will become the numerator of our mixed number, and our denominator will be the divisor or the number that you divide by, which in this case is the number 3. So now we have 5 and 2 thirds, but remember it says then the quotient will be a positive number. That means negative 17 divided into negative 3 equals positive 5 and 2 thirds, okay? So now let's go ahead and do another problem. So now let's say we have positive 42 divided by negative 7. Now in this case we have different signs so if we read rule number 2 it says if the signs of the integers are different which in this case we have a positive number and a negative number then the quotient will be a negative number. So we're still going to do division and we're still going to write this in a fraction form so let's go ahead and write positive 42 divided by negative 7, and we're just simply doing division, so we know that 7 goes into 42 6 times, so our answer will be 6, but it says then the quotient will be a negative number, and we know that the sign for a negative number is a minus or subtraction sign. That means a positive 42 divided into a negative 7 equals a negative 6, okay? Now let's do one more problem, and this time let's say we have a negative 35, okay, so this time our dividend is a negative number, divided by a positive 4, so our divisor is a positive number. Now the same rule applies to this, rule number 2, and it says if the signs of the integers are different, which in this case we have a negative and a positive number, then the quotient will be a negative number. So we're still going to do our division, so let's go ahead and write negative 32, I'm sorry, negative 35 divided by positive 4, and we're going to go ahead and do the division. So now we're just going to forget about the signs and just do, excuse me, normal division. So we know that 4 goes into 35 8 times because 4 times 8 is 32. Now when we subtract, we're left with 3. So once again, we're going to rewrite this as a mixed number. So our quotient, which is 8, will become our whole number. Our remainder, which is 3, will become our numerator, and our de uh, denominator will be our divisor, or the number you divide by, which in this case is a 4. So we have 8 and 3 fourths, but remember, then the quotient will be a negative number. So that means negative 35 divided into a positive 4 equals a negative 
eight and three fourths. Okay, so this is all I have for this topic. I really hope you guys understood this. Now, once again, if you want extra practice problems on this topic or any other topic, please feel free to visit our website at broandsismathclub.com, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.